What's going on guys? It's Bentley and uh, today I decided to hop on here. We had some people on the tweets yesterday and on Twitter. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. And what I forgot to do is I, I've been wanting to get on here and show you guys actually how to download and install custom zombie maps. And a lot of you guys probably know how to do this. And a lot of you might have Googled it or like watched some other videos, but you know, I figured I'd go ahead and put one up as well. You know, there's a lot of people that have been asking me as well. Um, you know, a lot of people ask guns, a lot of people ask meat. So I figured, hey, you know, I'd go ahead and do one. Um, you know, try to get one in inside of our little community that we have going. Um, you know, because we're all kind of shared sometimes, and sometimes we're not. You know, sometimes I have subscribers that they don't have, and viewers and watchers and all that stuff. So, you know, I figured I'd go ahead and do this anyway. What's the you know what what could it hurt basically so um basically up here in the top right i'm already logged in but in the top right you'll see a link it says register um that's what you're going to need to do you're going to need to register i would suggest going to zombiemodding.com of course all the other sites i've been to you need to <laughs> you're going to have to register too so it's free it's quick just do it real quick and um log in once you log in you're going to need to come to downloads and here under download you'll see count five zombies and then you just click on the latest releases it'll prompt or open up a new window um, at least it does for me most of the time so here is where we get all of our custom zombie maps we got 14 pages here to go through um, here you see Nazi zombie castle and I've actually already got it downloaded but um, just click on this and then you'll be prompted on this page um, you know, you got a whole bunch of like images and all that great stuff. So what you want to do is, afterwards, if you like the map, the way it looks, you click on that link that you saw there, and it opens up this little window here. So um, after that, we need to click on download, and it'll open up a different site. Um, usually, a, you know, like a, a web hosting site. So um, just uh, it's gonna be kind of tricky sometimes. Sometimes these um, are really slow. Um, some of the sites that they put them on are really slow. Sometimes they're decently fast. And this is uh, the download button here. Sometimes you'll have to look for it because of the ads. But we already got this, so uh, we're going to go ahead and head back to our desktop, and we're going to get it installing. So I'll show you guys how to do that. And we are back. Okay, so this is my desktop. Don't worry about my desktop. It is a little. Um, a little dirty, but you know, most people's are. So anyway, here's the map we downloaded. This is Nazi Zombie Castle with a K. And the great thing that I enjoyed the most about zombie modding is that mostly all of their downloads, if I'm not mistaken, all of them. Um, some of them might not be, and that's why I'm going to show you guys the other way. The easy way is because of zombie modding. Basically, you'll download this. This is your executable. You double click on this. It'll open up a window. Um, sometimes it will open up this one, sometimes it will not. Uh, just click yes, and here is the setup. So basically, we just, you know, click install. <laughs> and if you have uh, World of War installed on your computer, it's going to go ahead and put it in the correct um, place on your computer. Uh, usually this is a lot faster, but it's probably just because I'm recording. It's just going, wait, what's going on? <laughs> so it's trying to, you know, render... Um, or like you know record this and so it's sending a large amount of data to another hard drive and this is trying to send another portion of data to my other hard drive so um, you know I'm not going to need start menu shortcuts or desktop shortcuts because I'm you know I'm going to be accessing this from World of War so you just click finish when you're done and you know that's pretty much it so um, let's let this thing go ahead and close out there we go so the next thing we can do is We'll open up Windows Explorer. We're going to go into our actual hard drive, um, your root drive, where hopefully you have um, World at War installed on. And usually, we'll minimize this for just a second. Usually, when you download a custom zombie map, uh, usually it'll basically look like this. It'll just just do this. Like it'll it'll come in a RAR or a zip or something of the sort. And when you open it up, most of the time, depending on how they packed it it'll just have this folder right here so when you open it up you'll see all these different files in here such as uh, you know death ff death this, this is the name of the zombie map and then you know just a bunch of different files in here 
um, in order to make the map. So um, if you do download one that is a RAR or a ZIP, you need to um, download WinRAR or WinZip, um, one of those programs, and then it should look like this in here, and you just basically, you know, extract to, or you can just right-click on this and extract. So um, we'll take this here, and then we're going to go into our local drive where we have uh, World of War installed. We're going to go to Users. We're going to go to Bentley, or the name of your computer. Um, app data which I'll actually have to show you guys how to do real quick if you guys do not see app data we'll first show you guys how to do that real quick so if I'm not mistaken we'll go to personalize okay just head to your control panel this is how I know how to do it the easiest way for me and I know there's actually some keyboard shortcuts too if you guys know them um, you know, put them in the comments below. I can't really remember offhand, and usually when I do this, it's just you know one time. I don't have to worry about it again. So, um, I believe I go to appearance and personalization, and under appearance and personalization, you'll see folder options. So, um, and that's if you're using Windows 7. If you're using a different version of Windows, you might have to Google this step because I don't quite remember on Vista, I don't quite remember for XP, anything different than Windows 7, I don't really quite remember. Hopefully everyone's up to par these days and is on Windows 7, so um, click on Show Hidden Files and Folders. Uh, here you will see under this folder icon here, Hidden Files and Folders, just click Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives. Then just click OK, and that's done. So. There's other ways you guys can actually access your app data. Um, you know, if you have Minecraft open, you could probably get here um, by going to, you know, your texture pack folder and opening it up that way. So, all right, so we need to go to local. Uh, if you do Minecraft stuff, you know you go to roaming. We need to go to local. You'll see Activision here. We'll double click on that. You'll see COD World of War. Double click on that. And in here you will see mods. If you do not see mods, you need to create a folder called mods that looks just like this. So once you open that folder up, you'll see, you know, basically we have castle here. This is what we just installed uh, from our executable here. And basically just drag your folder in here and it installs. And then once you get into World at War, um, you know, you just go to mods and you double click on the mod that you want to run and it restarts World at War pops it right back up. You, time for you to play it solo. If you guys don't know how to play it solo, there's a um, console command you guys need to put in. Um, basically, you need to go to your game options and enable console. Then you need to push the tilde key, which is above tab and to the left of the one on your um, number bar on your keyboard. Um, push that and then you just play or you type in, um, I think it's forward slash map and then space the name of the map and it should start up if not you guys might want to google that I can't really remember I usually don't play custom maps solo myself but um that's how you would do that so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys have any questions and I maybe if I need to redo this y'all let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do so anyways that's it for me guys hopefully you guys learned how to install custom maps at least what I do and I'll see you guys next time later